Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the AWS. I am going to start a new series on the AWS. We are going to discuss each and every aspect of the AWS in this series. This is the introduction video of that series or you can say the very first video of that series where we are going to discuss about the AWS first and its key component. Later on, one by one, we'll discuss each of the key components in detail with the practical implementation of the AWS. And after that, we are going to see how we can deploy the Spring Boot application or other front end application, everything we are going to discuss in this series. So let's get started for that. And here in this video, let me try to explain you about the AWS first. So let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the AWS. And then after that, I have listed out a couple of key component of the AWS. We'll discuss all those things one by one and we'll also show you how those where you can find those key component in the AWS console. So let's get started and let me try to go to the next slide. So here we are on the next slide and we have listed out what is AWS. So AWS is nothing but it is a kind of cloud computing platform. You can see AWS is stand for the Amazon Web Services is a comprehensive and widely used cloud computing platform provided by the Amazon. It was launched in the years 2006, AWS offers a broad set of services including computing power, storage, databases, machine learning, analytics, networking, security and more. Okay, so it offers a wide range of the services uh, that we have listed down here like machine learning, database storage and analytics, networking, security, computing, everything it offers. Okay. It allows businesses and the individual to access a scalable and reliable computing infrastructure without the need for a large upfront investment in the hardware and infrastructure. So it, it will help us in saving the cost that we'll invest on the hardware. Okay. It will provide you the cloud uh, platform where you can do your things without purchasing the hardware. Okay. So this is the benefit of AWS now or this is about the AWS. Now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the key aspect of the AWS or you can say the key services of the AWS. So let me try to go to the next slide. So here I have listed out the key aspect of AWS or you can say the key services that AWS provides like compute services, storage services, database service, networking, machine learning and AI, security and identity, management and monitoring. These are the key services that AWS provide. Let me try to walk you through the AWS console and show you the services that AWS provide. So let me try to go there. So if you'll go to the AWS console, uh, you can go to this services section and there you can see the services provided by the AWS. So here are the list of the services that AWS provide like application, integration, analytics, blockchain, business application, compute, containers, database and developer tools. We have the game development, Internet of Things, machine learning and management and governance. We have the security and identity storage. So all those services are here listed out that AWS provides. And these are the recently visited services that I have used. OK, so we'll discuss all those services one by one. So now let me try to go back to the presentation and let me try to start it from beginning and discuss about the key services of AWS one by one. OK, so if we'll go to the next slide, the first service that I have listed down here is compute service. OK, so this compute service is a kind of service that provide you uh, the services that help us in running the application. OK, so here I have listed down two services like Amazon EC2 and AWS Lambda. So let me try to brief you about the EC2 and Lambda one by one. OK, so EC2 stands for the Elastic Compute Cloud. It provides scalable virtual servers in the cloud, allowing users to run application and the services. OK, so this is EC2 is a kind of virtual servers that help us in running our application and the services. Coming to the AWS Lambda, this is a serverless compute service that let you run your code without provisioning or managing servers. 
so that this will free you from managing the servers it automatically scales based upon the demand so these are the very important compute services provided by the aws which is amazon ec2 and aws lambda now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the different or the other important services provided by the aws like storage services so here I have listed out uh, two storage services like Amazon S3 and Amazon EBS. So coming to the Amazon S3, this is a kind of uh, storage service provided by the AWS where you can store any data. Okay. So let's say uh, you have created one Spring Boot application and you want to deploy this Spring Boot application to the EC2 instance. Okay. So what you did is you have developed the Spring Boot application. Now you have created the jar out of that Spring Boot application and you want to deploy that jar to the EC2 instance. But before going to deploy that jar to the EC2 instance, you need to store that jar somewhere. So there comes the picture of Amazon S3 bucket. So you can create one S3 bucket and store your jar there. And from the S3 bucket, you can access your jar and deploy that jar to the EC2 instance. So S3 comes uh, as a storage service and it help us in storing any data that you want. So let me try to read out for you. Uh, it is a simple storage service, a scalable object storage service for storing and retrieving any amount of data. It commonly used for backup, archiving and serving static website. Now coming to the other storage service, which is Amazon EBS, which is Elastic Block Store, offers scalable block level storage volumes that can be attached to the EC2 instances. Now coming to the next slide, uh, we have the database services. In the database services, Amazon provides uh, uh, mainly two kinds of uh, database supports or the service like one is for the relational databases, another is for the non-relational databases. So Amazon RDS is a service provided by the AWS to store the relational databases. Okay, so Amazon RDS, which is relational database service, manage relational database services supporting various database engines such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and SQL servers. Whereas we have the Amazon DynamoDB, a fully managed non-SQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance. Okay, so this is about the database services provided by the AWS. Now coming to the next slide, we have the networking service. So Amazon provides uh, different networking services. We have listed out these two, Amazon WPC and Amazon Route 53. Okay, so the WPC stands for the Virtual Private Cloud. It allows you to provision a logically isolated section of AWS cloud where you can launch AWS resources. Coming to the Amazon Route 53, a scalable domain name system, it provides a DNS web service designed to route end user requests to globally distributed AWS endpoints. So these are the two networking that we have listed out here that AWS provide. Coming to the next slide, uh, we have the machine learning and the AI services provided by the AWS, like Amazon SageMaker and Amazon Comprehend. Coming to the Amazon SageMaker, a fully managed service for building, training, and deploying machine learning models. So this help us in managing uh, the machine learning models, or you can say building, training, and deploying machine learning models. Coming to Amazon Comprehend, this is a natural language processing service for extracting insight and relationship from the text. Okay, so this help us in doing the uh, extraction or making a relation from the text. Or you can say uh, trying to figure out the relationship by processing the text. Okay, now let me try to go to the next slide and we have the security and identity services. Okay, so we have the AWS IAM. When you are going to create your app, uh, account, then you can uh, find this uh, option where you can see the AWS IAM and the root users. So this is a kind of security and identity service provided by the AWS. Uh, let me try to discuss this thing over here. So AWS IAM, Identity and Access Management. This enables you to securely control access to the AWS services and the resources. 
okay and aws key management service allows you to create and control encryption keys used to encrypt your data so these are the security and identity services now coming to the next slide we have the management and monitoring services as well in aws so aws cloudwatch is a kind of management and monitoring service provided by aws this provides monitoring and observability service for the aws resources other management and monitoring tool we have or the service we have is aws cloud trail this help us records aws api calls providing an audit trail for the action taken by the users application or the services so this help us in doing the management and the monitoring of the api calls now let me try to go to the next slide and summarize all the basic thing of aws so aws is used by a diverse range of organization from startups to the large enterprise and it continues to evolve with the new services and the features regularly added to meet the changing need of the cloud and computing landscape learning aws can be valuable for individuals and the businesses looking to leverage the benefit of cloud computing for scalability flexibility and the cost effectiveness so this is about the summary of aws and uh, this was uh, the basic introduction video of aws in the upcoming videos we'll discuss all those services provided by aws in very detail with the practical implementation so if you are new to the channel please uh, subscribe the channel and if you like the video please hit the like button and please support the channel by subscribing and sharing the videos to your friend in need thanks